Microsoft Excel 365 has yet another new function called Pivot By, which we can use for data analysis to help us transform our data. Again, I'm working with the simple table of loans data. So each row represents a loan initiated on a specific date to a particular customer. And we have the customer IDs, but not the names here, the products they were given, and the current balance and credit limit that they have on that product. So my data is formatted as a table, which is going to make my formulas more auditable. I'm using the pivot by function. So first I need to define what fields I want to show in my rows of my pivot table. And so for that, I'm going to click on the column header for product in this case, which I want to see in my rows. So I look for that black arrow, click on the column header. And then for my second argument, I want to show a list of dates across the top of my table. So let's again look for that black arrow on the initiated column. My third field is going to be the balance column. That's the one I want to aggregate across those cells in my pivot table. And fourth, I have to define how I want that aggregation to happen. And so I want to take a sum. Now currently I'm seeing an individual date across the top of my pivot table. Now I don't want to see that much detail. Maybe I want to manipulate that to just show particular months. And so the neat thing is that I can do this within my pivot by formula. I can manipulate my row and column headers. So in this case, I'm going to use the text function on that initiated date column, and I'm going to present it as year and month. So once that change has been made, my data is presented and aggregated according to those transformed values. Now I get one value per month per product. And again, just like the group by formula, because this is a dynamic array, it responds dynamically to me removing or adding rows from the source data table. So another great example from Microsoft there of bringing data analysis techniques right into Excel that avoids us having to create a pivot table every time. And we can do this kind of analysis on the fly and keep it updated to our source data.